Hey guys, got another box of awesomeness for you. Uh, it's got nothing to do with knives or bushcraft or anything like that, but more collectible side. Um, I'm a collector. I like collecting stuff. Uh, right now, we have got a nice box of books ranging from uh, 1879 to 19. 58 I believe so I just thought I'd share them with you and um, what their value would be approximately um, if I know their value uh, this is a new translation of the New Testament by James Moffat um, it's in good condition like um, spine pages everything but it's just missing a few pages at the end there's a little bit of writing in there. You can see 12, 21 if you're upside down, like you guys are right now. But for the most part, it's in good condition. Joan Hunter. What was that? January, February, or something on there, 1931. So that's a cool buck. I picked it up. This was a dollar. This is a German book, and luckily I have a neighbor who grew up in Germany, so she said uh, just a book full of literature, she called it, otherwise I'd go straight to Google Translator, try typed in these words and I still didn't get English out of them. So uh, it's like, I don't know what that is, but this this probably means something like literature. You can literature, itch, chia, chia, chia. <laughs> so, um, this one's 1912, William and Co. Berlin. This is a pretty cool book. Uh, it's got some nice pictures in it. And this one's in superb condition. Superb. The binding on it is very good. It's nice and tight. There is a little discoloration. Nice golden reddish color for pages. The pages are nice and strong. There is, uh, can't see anything. There is a, you can see a little bit where it's coming loose, but compared to other books, this is doing pretty good. It's from 1912. So yeah, uh, I don't have a value for this one. Wasn't able to find anything on it yet because basically I don't know what the title is of it. So I'm gonna have to find that out. Uh, this cost was a dollar. That uh, cost it a dollar. Uh, this is Holy Bible. I like this one. This one's one of my favorite ones. I'm not very good at reading handwriting, so I won't read it for you. But this is 1888. This one's in good condition. Some of the pages are a little worn. Like this one, and you can see the spotting, and then the cover's a little worn. The outsides, this is a uh, leather. The outside is not too bad. There's a little on the spine. There's a little wear, but for the most part, this is pretty good condition. The pages are in everything. Um, there are like a few things in between the pages. It's, I don't know, a piece of an old bookmark or something like that. Um, there's hair and stuff I found in here. Um, where is it? Right here. There's just little Bible verses and stuff stuck. I checked. No money. I'm shocked. There's another one. But for being this old, it's in really good condition. There's another one. April 2nd. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't have a value on this one. 
because there's come to a dilemma where there's many copies of these made like not not like these are widely produced and printed but there's just different variations of the same book so I'll, I'm just having to find which variation it is so uh, this this one was a dollar as well you can just see right there in the in the corner it says a dollar That's pretty much the only writing in these books. Um, that one has a little bit of, there's a note section in it. It has a little bit of writing in it. Um, this one is a Webster's Dictionary. This is the worst condition book I have. The only reason I got it because it's Webster's Dictionary. It's a pretty widely known dictionary. Uh, you can barely even make up the title of it. Webster's Dictionary. It's really faded. Like, it's only the the binding, pretty much, that's gone on it. Uh, 1924, that's what this one is. This one must have been pretty heavily used. See that right there, 1924, World's Naked Company Inc. This one's pretty cool. Pages. Like, all the pages are in good condition, it's just only the binding on it. But it's actually pretty cool how they bind books. Like, each of them has their own little section that they come in. Like, you can see little slots in between, and then they're all bound together. So that, uh, that's pretty cool. So uh, that was a dollar. This one right here, what is this? So this is Christian Workers Commentary. So this is uh, another another Bible. This one's more for uh, teaching rather than just reading for yourself. This one was uh, remarkably a dollar as well. This one's pretty cool. Forty-seven is the date on this one. Merry Christmas. Uh, the price I uh, found on this was uh, I think it was thirty to sixty dollars, but it's not a normal Bible just because you can see there's lots of extra space around it that's I guess their way of saying bright notes here but this is in really good condition all the pages there's no writing that I've I found in it Binding is going a little bit on it. You can see, otherwise it's in really good condition. The front's a little faded. Yeah, let's see, let's see that. Author B S W L edition. Uh, the, I think this one. Yeah, this one was a dollar too. And I just remember I said that already. Okay, now this one might be the most valuable one I have, but like the other Bible I talked about, there's many, not a whole lot printed, but just many variations. All the other variations I found don't have this logo on it, but says exactly what's inside the book. So this might, I'm not sure if it's a different cover or anything like that. This is the Holy Bible as well. Just um, a page. Just have a little bit of a stain at the top. That's not too bad. A little watermark. The Holy Bible. Was containing the Old and New Testament. It's translated out of the original tongues with the former translation. Uh, diligently compared and revised by the Majesty's Special Command, appointed to be read in churches. So, that's pretty cool. 
London British and Foreign Bible Society. <laughs> the bottle says price two shillings. Um, what was the year on this one? I think this one. What was the year on this one? Find the where I found the year on this one. Uh, I think it was eighteen seventy nine. Is it? One of these books is in eighteen seventy nine. I don't have a, a year on this one actually. But uh, for the price, this one can range from forty dollars to over a thousand dollars. So it's critical to find which which. <laughs> variation it is. This book's in very good condition. Binding's nice and tight. Just the, I guess the cover's a little worn. But if you have any information on any of these books, just for sure let me know. Really interested. Yeah, some of these pages are a little bent. Bend them back into place. Going to thrift stores can uh, actually pay off. Going into the heritage heritage section. There we go. And this one was three bucks. Whole lot of money. So if I get a thousand dollars for that, I'd be super happy. <laughs> um, this one's pretty cool. Uh, I don't have a price on it or anything. Yet, Tabor's vocabulary of medical terms. Um, it's got the little thumb notation so you can flip to each chapter, I believe. In this case, it's M for medical services. Uh, this one's in pretty good condition. This is from St. Boniface Hospital. This one was also a dollar. Fourth edition, nineteen fifty-four. Bindings in good shape, really good shape actually. It's almost like this book's never been used. I thought it was pretty cool that it had all the thumb markings in there because some of the editions that I've seen don't have that, so that could be a rare feature. Uh, last but not least, my biggest book yet, most priciest book that I've gotten, 20 bucks. Take the sticker off, I guess. Uh, the History of Methodism Illustrated. So that means it's got pictures, so it's really good for me because I don't like reading. <laughs> I'm joking. Why would I collect books if I don't like reading? Um, this one's in really good condition. Uh, this one is valued between uh, 60 and $100, I believe. And this, I, I like this one because it's really old pictures and it has a lots, of, lots of history in it. That's pretty cool. John Wesley. I don't know why that's in there. It's not supposed to be in there. And this is his brother, C. Wesley. So there's some pretty cool pictures in here. The keywords being here, sold only by subscription. So that usually means there's not a lot sold.
Unless you had a whole bunch of subscribers, but back in that day, usually not. This, this book's in fantastic shape. Some great pictures in here. And binding's good. A little wear on the outside right here. Back there's a little bit of wear. But overall it's pretty good. Nice cover art. I like those keys, skeleton keys, I think they're called. Uh year on this one is Drumroll, please. Copyright is 1879. I knew one of these books was 1879. And show you the bottom of this part. Copyright 1879 by Phillips and Hunt, New York. And it was published 1880. So yeah, smell this book to date. Uh, this one, yeah, 20 bucks. But should be able to get a little bit of return on it. I think it was I saw one on eBay for a hundred dollars, something like that. Not sure, but that's my nice stack of books. And there's a lot more I can buy too. I've just been I've read through each book pretty much got a parking ticket I put a quarter in the meter which gave me 15 minutes because I was gonna go in and out just quickly looking around and I found this nice bookshelf full of old books and I was in there for over an hour and I got a parking ticket <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, kind of fun seeing history just wondering who held this book before me and if books could talk, boy, they'd have a story to tell. Most of them would be out of the sniffles from being in the attic for so long, but from 1879, wonder where all that book's been. Printed in London. Oh, that went a little longer than I expected, but thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any, any information on these books, that uh, helped me out a lot. Any questions, comments, put it below. Subscribe if you like this video. Thanks for watching.